Shazam, the iPad producer from Riverside. How you doing? We actually got a, a note from a kid in Australia who said he plays since one during recess and lunch because he's bullied and he said when he plays since one, it helps him forget about all his problems and he makes music. Wow. Matt! What's up, bro? Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, man. Sorry about the mix-up. I'm talking good, man. How you guys doing? This is Ari, the founder of Money Pit. Hey, nice you? to meet you, brother. Nice well, to meet you. Nice well, to meet you. Well, you're in luck because last night we got AUV3 working, so you can be the first to premiere nice. AUV3. Nice. That's one and one. super awesome. We haven't even seen it. We got to meet with Apple this afternoon, but you're going to get really? it first. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> when do you get there? Yeah, you know, uh, we got to meet some cool people. I got to meet the MSX2 guys. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I've been trying to look for more. See, the first two days, well, the first day I was just getting B-roll footage for my uh, channel. And yesterday I was planning, I was trying to spot out everybody that's got something to do with iOS devices. But they're, it was so spread apart and just hard to find. So. What's this? Oh, wow. Holy shit, it's just like the... Yeah, it's the full... It's, so dope. it's the full thing. All the presets, everything is here. That is so dope. And we got an extra uh, bank from Francis Prev, who uh, did the sound design for Serum. Whoa. That's super awesome. You can uh, make it bigger. You know, the oh, real nice. simulated right, right, wood right, grain. Right, that's super dope. That was very fluid, too. I like it. Yeah, so Good it's shit. cool. And you know, it's if you have an, this is just a regular iPhone X, but if you have an X Max, it's like awesome. You get really? the full right, right, right. experience. And it's gonna work on phones as far back as the iPhone 6, so. Okay. It's gonna have the entire, it's completely free, nothing to buy, no ads. The complete free and open source synthesizer for the masses. Wow. It's gonna bring synthesis to everyone. So what made you guys wanna put it on the iPhone? Other than people bugging you three times a day. <laughs> well, you know, we wanted, uh, you know, music making on the go. You know, there's so many people who have iPhones who don't have an iPad. Mm -hmm. And now we can democratize music making and synthesizers for everyone. It's all the features, everything, the full sound quality. And it's just something you could do on the bus or wherever you are on the go and just yes. make sounds or even take it to a gig. It's got MIDI in, Ableton Link. It's going to have AU3. So it's, it's really exciting. We're really excited to get it in the hands of everyone. Well, uh, awesome. Ari is the founder of Audio Kit. Right. He works on Audio Kit seven days a week for free. Wow. He takes no money. Um, none of us take any money. Right. And everything goes back into the project so that we can amplify our mission and you know, make more free software. So you know, people are like, well, why are you making an iPhone app? You don't have anything to sell on the iPhone. But we wanted to get this out to as many people as soon as possible. Right. You know, it's like there's no way for us to make money for all these, you know, hundreds of thousands of iPhone users that are going to start. So. Right. So what, do you guys have some, uh, some, some good news and some new news for the iOS community today? Uh, sure. We've been working hard at NAMM to get the AU V3 versions for both AudioKit Synth1 and AudioKit Digital D1 wow. working. So we have we have it pretty much working. There's some kinks to, to figure out still, but um, I put a demo up on uh, Instagram or on uh, Twitter the other day, and uh, I think it's going to be done pretty pretty soon now. Awesome! Awesome! Yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations! Thanks. It's been a long time coming. So, um, with with the AUV3 version, um, is it scalable? Like when you like you know how Cubase is, you can you can make your uh, you can blow up the AUV3 as, as big as the doll will let you? Is that the same? Yeah, so in GarageBand it comes through as uh, like a rack mount size. Mm -hmm. So it starts off like this, like D1 here, and you can make it full size here, just like you could. Oh, nice, okay. So you can either get the keyboard of, oh, from nice. Audio Kit or you can get the, uh, right. the second set of panels. So. And the same thing, I think we can even add uh, 
Let's see, uh, synth one is on here too. Ah, uh, yeah, nice. Whoa. So you can have the full screen experience there. You know, we're really good friends with, you know, the Beatmaker folks. And gotcha, gotcha. I'm a big fan of Beatmaker 3. And uh, we really, really went out of our way to make it really become a part of Beatmaker 3. So when you see it here, it looks like it's part of Beatmaker wow, 3. It does. It's just like seamless there. Wow, it's like super awesome, man. So. So when are you guys going to be actually releasing the AU3 ver the AUV3 version? That's a million dollar question. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, obviously it's going to be free updates for uh, okay. Synth 1. Uh, we're going to release the iPhone version of Synth 1 Thursday, January 31st. Awesome. And then I think we'll probably start like a beta for Synth 1 first. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, the difference with AudioKit and other app development companies is that when we say we're going to make it AUV3, we're also going to be making the process of making things AUV3 ready for all people who use AudioKit for their apps. Right. So we're kind of making a generic way for everyone to do it. So it takes a little bit longer sometimes, but hopefully that'll make it easier for other people using AudioKit to do the same for themselves. So we're trying to do it right the, the first time. I'm sure the first one will have some bugs, but um, it's going to be really easy for anyone who's got an audio could app to gotcha. convert to AUV3 now. Now, quick question as an iOS dev, when you guys have people in the beta program, does that do you get enough feedback from them to actually work out the kinks, or is it pretty much in-house that where you guys get to work out all the kinks? Does the beta programs really actually work? I was always curious. Well, there's um, you know, certain people have more time to contribute to the beta program uh, than others. Gotcha, you know, so you gotcha. might get most of your uh, feedback from like two or three people if you're lucky. Gotcha. You know, and um. Uh, some people, you know, they're busy and they don't have time to find all the bugs. Gotcha. Uh, but we those definitely... two or three people are super valuable. Yeah. Right, those two or three deep, people change right. every time. You still get that kind of feedback and it's fantastic. That's super awesome. That's super awesome. Um, but we're grateful for anyone who wants to test our apps out. So awesome. we're happy to have people a part of it. You know, even if they get, you know, life gets in the way, but if they could even shoot us a note and say like, hey, I like this or this isn't working or just some sort of feedback helps. Awesome. Awesome. Audio, and then let's see. Audio kit, D1. Awesome. Oh, I love it when it doesn't crash in a live demo. <laughs> yeah. Well, that looks very nice, bro. Yeah, thanks, man. And then so, let's see what you can... That does open up. I'm not sure what's going on with your head. Yeah. Ah, see, at a scale there. Um, See, the, the, even the keys will um, change size. Wow, that's super dope. So, have you have you found out how many instances can you run? Uh, we've got like a, you... up to like four or five oh, on, on even my old iPad Pro here. Okay, okay. Uh, but you know, D one's pretty intensive, but uh, you know that's four instances of two layers each, so that's almost like eight layers running. Right, right. That's super awesome. Oh, I'm pretty know, sure. I'm pretty sure you guys want to spread the, spread the word. <laughs> he's oh. the extrovert between the two. <laughs> right. so. uh, well, we have an audio developer uh, meet up tonight at six uh, nice. with the guys from Output and uh, some other people like the audio programmer. So if uh, you run into any uh, developers, invite them up. And nice. you know, all audio programmers, we like to help each other out, right, even if we're on right. different platforms. Nice, nice. We're all in this together. You know, it's a brotherhood and sisterhood of people trying to write code because we love it here right. at NAMM. So what made you guys want to start uh, or to, to actually grace us with your beautiful synths on the iOS platform versus Mac or PC? I don't know. Um, I guess it was the synth one started because like Matt was saying, he wanted to get it out to a lot of people. And mm -hmm. since the iPads are uh, cheaper devices to, mm -hmm. to have more prevalence around the world, right? The, the, it seemed like a nice way to get into people's hands whereas if they have a mac it's usually a little more expensive to own a mac gotcha. and uh, so i think it's a, the better platform for reaching a lot of different kinds of people what do you think and um just just the latency and tools uh it's just android isn't there for like the open source level gotcha. of code gotcha uh and you know there are a lot of people that have free and donated ipads and schools are using them so but right. they don't have credit cards you know even if they're well off i mean they're parents may not let their kids buy anything right, so this right. is the only way they can get a synth right That's we actually awesome, man. we actually got a, a note from a kid in australia 
who said he plays since one during recess and lunch because he's bullied and he said when he plays since one it helps him forget about all his problems and he makes music wow that's beautiful bro that's and really beautiful I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys love hearing stuff like that because that I mean that's I'm what sure keeps us going yeah it's yeah, like right. so like why you know what's what's more important like what do you really want in life do you want to reach millions of musicians and help them out or do you want to make or do you want a new Tesla? I drive a right. Honda Civic, <laughs> right, you know, right. and I'm happy driving that Honda Civic if I can make the lives better of musicians around the world. Right, so right. long, man. I just wanted to personally thank you guys from the iOS community, man. You guys are a company for the people, man, and I just want to say congratulations on the AUV3 update coming soon and the iPhone app, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys, thank man. you, man. It's always great to meet you in person. Yes, sir, yes, People sir. don't even know that you're the man, Shazam. Nah, that's you, brother. You, <laughs> that's you, man. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time out to talk to uh, Shazam, the iPad producer, my YouTube channel, man. I appreciate you guys giving me the insight. Watch it. Shazam, the iPad producer from Riverside. Uh, how you doing?